Five years ago, almost to the day, I published my first astrophotography vlog style video where I took a picture of a galaxy in my backyard. A lot of things have changed since then, but others haven't. Early April is still a great time to photograph the Needle Galaxy, and that's what I'm gonna do tonight. You may have noticed that things look a little different if you saw my last video. So welcome to the new Astro Backyard office. This is my desk here where I sit down to work every day. There is my wife, Ashley, taking a nice sip of pop. And some water. <laughs> so we're just getting started, really. We've got uh, our first plant in the office, enjoying lots of natural light. Uh, we really like the, uh, the floor to ceiling windows in here. Our new chair just arrived. That's a Wayfair purchase, was it, Ash? Yes. Yeah, we've still got more to go. Uh, work in progress, but just our little room here. Just outside here, there are some other businesses that, uh, you know, some inspiring people and entrepreneurs that uh, work next to us. So it's kind of nice to talk to some like-minded people once in a while. You might be wondering, why do I need an office anyway? It's Astro Backyard. Everything happens in the backyard. Well, a lot of other parts of the business happen here. Phone calls, emails, image processing just nice to have a dedicated space to really focus on work and uh, it's just nice to also get out of the house it was feeling a bit stale there as much as we like being home there's some nice separation between work life and home life now We are smack dab in the middle of galaxy season right now, meaning that there are a lot of great choices in terms of astrophotography available in the night sky right now. It's also new moon right now. Well, four days out, that moon comes up really late. So it's pretty well as dark as it gets here in this backyard tonight, which is really important when you're photographing broad spectrum targets like a galaxy. The Needle Galaxy is an edge-on spiral galaxy and it's absolutely stunning if you get it right. The most incredible thing about NGC 4565 is that it resembles the view we have from our solar system into the Milky Way core. There's ribbons of dark dust blocking some of the light from the galactic disk. It's just an incredible looking galaxy. I haven't photographed this galaxy in a long time. And the last time I did was with an 80 millimeter refractor in a DSLR camera. Don't get me wrong, a setup like that is totally capable of capturing the Needle Galaxy. It'll just be really small in the field of view compared to a long focal length telescope like this. I'm using the big Celestron Edge HD 11 tonight to tap into that focal length and aperture for this rather small deep sky object. This time I've got the ZWO ASI 2600mm mono on the back for some LRGB imaging. Now this really is the best way to photograph galaxies if you have a monochrome camera and those filters and you're willing to put in the work. Honestly, I'd need about three clear nights to do this object justice and get closer to 15 hours of total integrated exposure time. But I'm gonna try as always to complete the image in one night. So the plan is to get just over an hour in each filter, leaving that luminance data for last when the object's nice and high in the sky. If it wasn't enough that my neighbors hear me talking to myself in the dark in my backyard, they also hear noises like this. I do have a slight problem tonight, potentially. I've never tested this camera configuration yet, this particular one on this telescope. Now I'm very close to the recommended 145 millimeter backspacing between the sensor and the reducer on this telescope but it's just a little bit off. So I won't find out if I'll get that completely flat field 
edge to edge on the APS-C size sensor of the 2600 until I take that first test exposure. So fingers crossed that works out. All right, we are clear for takeoff and we don't have time to mess around. Look at that beautiful needle galaxy in the field of view there. So the frame looks nice and flat. Looks like I got my spacing correct. You can actually see another galaxy in there just dimly. This is a 15 second exposure on the needle galaxy and I'm gonna set up my imaging plan and start shooting. It is just after 1 a.m. and I'm collecting luminance data on the Needle Galaxy now. The transparency is not great. I can see those like thin layer of clouds I'm shooting through. Uh, recently people have been saying uh, with my photos through this telescope specifically, oh your stars don't look so great, they look bloated or the image looks a little soft. The image scale is, is not great. There's a calculation you can do for the pixel size of your camera uh, in relation to the focal length of your telescope, you want to get that, you know, one to two arc seconds per pixel. And uh, I'm a little low on the setups I have here. It's just a lot of focal length to deal with. And typically, you're probably used to me shooting with the short refractors uh, and a big sensor like the Canon EOS RA and the really sharp, maybe overly sharp, blocky looking images. So it is a big shift, different style of imaging but uh, for anyone that hasn't shot these small galaxies at long focal lengths before uh, there's a lot of challenges that come with it and uh, the processing is different uh, but it's also a lot of fun i'm really enjoying processing these galaxies up close there's when you really dig in there and really look around there's some really amazing details especially near the core hopefully you're enjoying this series of Galaxy images through the Celestron Edge HD 11. I want to get a lot of use out of it during galaxy season because I will be switching back to the refractors probably earlier than uh, than I should. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video seeing me shoot another galaxy here in the backyard. Obviously the world is a crazy place right now. I, I thought I'd be traveling a lot more and doing some exciting things, but I'm kind of stuck here in the backyard which isn't such a bad thing, you know, things could be worse. I, I really do love being out here and it's a blessing to be able to share my experiences in my backyard with you guys and to explore the night sky together like that. So really don't have a lot to complain about. So I hope you enjoy the image of the needle galaxy at the end of the video. And until next time, clear skies.